My name is Peter Bruninger, and I'm here with the AudioNote team. Let me introduce to you, and I'll start with the founder of the company, Peter Kotra. How are you today, Peter? I'm pretty good. Peter. Good, good. Go and uh, next in line uh, for AudioNote, we have Emily Kortrup. Emily, how are you today? I'm good. I'm good. I'm <laughs> That's great. It's a nice sunny day. Okay. It's a beautiful day here in England. Uh, we're uh, outside of Brighton, England, and this town is? Partridge Green. Partridge Green viewers. And we're here also with Andy Whittle, who's a director of sales for AudioNote. How are you, Andy? I'm very good, thank you. So let's go take a tour of AudioNote UK. This is going to be a real treat. Here we go. Okay, so this part of the factory is where we do the main fabrication of the product. So the boards are pre-made, the transformers are already fitted, and here we do the assembling and wiring. This is one of our bigger chassis. This is an Ankaroo, which is the Mono 211. So this is one side of the pair of Ankaroos. So you can see here the chassis is upside down. The output transformer has already been assembled. Uh, what have we got in the back there? The main capacitors are in, okay, and we're just putting in the regulation supplier. Yeah? Good. And what do we have here? So this one here, we have a, this is a M9 Phono Signature. So this is a two box, the power supply and the control unit. So again, this is just the smaller PCBs being wider. You do beautiful work. Thank you. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> Hand soldered by an expert. Mm -hmm. And how about over here, what do we have? So here we've got Chris, he's wiring up, hand wiring some of the 300B boards. Okay, so these are the type of boards that would go in the Conqueror, things like that, the 300B power mates. So all hand wired, silk soldered. Look at that, another expert. Look at that, perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Let's watch one more solder there. Chris is going to trim there. Yeah, perfect. Snip it off. Look at that. And she created a little loop. And see, that's going to fit right over the top pen. And then he's going to grip it and twist it in. And this is the proper way to solder. This is actually handmade. The wires are bent to the proper shape to come around the structure of the subboard that's underneath the red board that we're looking at. And then once he gets that into position, he'll drop a bit of solder on top of it and that'll finish that off. He's not quite there yet. So the time to do this, if you're watching viewers, is we're two minutes into this and this is one wire that's going to go in here. So two minutes or plus to do one wire. So times that by how many wires are in an audio note component and you begin to get the scope and the idea of what goes in. Here we go, you can solder this, here we go. Right on there it is. Wow, then it's going to bend the other one around. Right on top, of, that's a capacitor there. And here we go. And it's done. Thank you very much, Chris. You're welcome. Hey, Andy, what do we have over here? So here we've got a main production line for the My Shoes. So there's My Shoe Lines, My Shoe Lines Silvers, My Shoe Lines Silver Signatures. So the My Shoe is one of our basic, good running 300B integrated amplifiers. There's lots of signs across the audio nut factory. Some of them mean business and some of them are kind of for fun. Yeah, that's part of Richard. He, he used to be a graphic designer, was it Richard, I think? He used to do some work. So he's got some sort of graphics background. So graphic you see lots, bench. Of, yes. lots yep. of drawings and uh, lots of pictures. Yep. And you've heard of Roslyn the bow. Well, this is Roslyn for solder. And this is, I'm sure, silver solder. Let's do it in a silver solder. There you go. Look at that. Just using all our hands, sort of. Product. And here's an expert at work. Well, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful work. 
They really are pieces of art. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And down here, what do we have, Andy? So this this is a Paladin, which is the integrated 45 amplifier. So this is the two 45s. It's about one and a half, two watts per channel. Okay. Uh, again. If you've got very high sensitivity speakers, the 45 tube is one of the best sounding tubes you can get. I agree with you. Hi, how are you today? I'm okay. Good, I see you're wiring in the uh, input transformer. Very cool. I am, I am indeed. Uh, I'm just see? working out the length of the, the heat shrink. Yeah, double checking the lengths. Yeah. See, this is again, the viewers, everything is hand done. So each wire has to be hand trimmed and to the position where it's going to end up on the next component. So see the beginning here and then Here's what it's going to end up looking like. So, very good. Thank you very much. Andy, what do we have here? So, what we got here, this is the M6 line signature power supply board. So, as you can see, we've got the new audio note case I caps, the, the two watt tantrum non magnetic resistors, and the audio note valve bases. And again, if we turn it over, you can see it's all hand wired with solid silver and the audio note silver wire. Look at that. Solder, sorry. And again, we saw how this is done and this yep. is bent a certain way yes. and then, then bent again and then bent again and then bent again and then finally soldered in place. Most time consuming but really yeah. the best for the ultimate sound. And Andy what do we have here? Okay Peter so this is an M8 line signature here so you can see on this one again we have the audio note case eye capacitors, we've got the black gate capacitors, the audio note copper capacitors and these are on the Pomelli wooden board. Again solid silver wire hand soldered. And you can see each board is a work of art. And this is actual real wood? Yes, these are real wood board. Again, you know, the, the sound of the board affects the sound of the product, the finished product. And we go to great lengths to, to listen to the actual boards as well. Fantastic. And viewers, we're over at the transformer dipping machine and uh, we'll talk a little bit about that, Andy. Uh, lead us through uh, what the process is here. Okay, so what we found in, in terms of the R&D and research and development is that uh, wax impregnating certain output transformers or chokes enhances the sound quality and again it's one of those things you, you can do some finer measurements on it but sonically when you listen to it you, you get quite a difference in the sound so what you'll find here for example is um, on this Trans185 you can just see where it's been da dipped in the wax machine and the type of wax we went through quite a lengthy process of listening to the different microstructures of the wax really yeah so again that all affects the sound performance so you'll find some of the uh, output transformers are waxed and some of the C-core chokes we actually wax in the dipping machine here so they take about five hours we put them in we put the machine on overnight and we have a certain type of grade of wax that, that obviously sounds the best mm -hmm. soak them in there for five hours overnight and then they're ready to go the next day yeah, and viewers are different here this is a C-core because it's shaped like a C this is laminated because you can see that these are laminations all stacked together this is a choke because you don't have any secondary wirings coming off. And Andy, I see after they come out of the dipping machines, I see a whole bunch of inventory here. What do we have? And tell us about the transformers and different qualities. Okay, so again, on the mains transformer front, we have a number of different mains transformers. These are super high B. So that depending on the level of the product, the uh, higher quality of the core material. So for example, like an Ongaku will have a much higher level mains transformer core material. So people might just think, oh, it's just the components or it's just the capacitors or the, the resistors. It, it goes right back to the mains transformer level. So as soon as the, the mains comes into the product, we get a better quality transformer. So you'll see here, again, we've got a vast number of, of mains transformers, super high B cores, ultra high B mains transformers, many different permutations to fit in with the level system that we supply. And viewers, uh, just to reiterate, the transformer and uh, valve audio component and the most audio component uh, as part of the power supply, uh, these are the most key components, one of the most key components to the sound of an amplifier, in my opinion. It's the heart of the amplifier, is the transformer. Absolutely, yeah. Again, the, the, almost like the mains coming into the product and then the output transformer, which again is what we control very stringently with the quality and the design and the, the type of core material at both ends of that chain. So mm -hmm. as soon as the mains comes in, and what comes out the other side, crucially important. Good, I see more along the wall here. Let's uh, walk uh, again, down the yes, Yeah, it's, 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 it's really the scope of the operation here. I don't know if the viewers are, can get it. You really have to, we'll get the camera around the whole factory, but this is enormous. Uh, when I was on the factory tour six years ago, it was at least well, two thirds smaller. Yeah, again, you know, again, the demand for the product's been very good. Uh, again, if you look at these ones, you can see these have the magnetic copper cores on. So, again, in terms of the quality of the product, the sequel transformer, these are the Gaku on. 
Yeah, you can see it. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to pick it up, and that is a substantial component. It's a work of art in its own yeah, right. If you it look is. At the, you know, the, the quality of the windings, the copper, and then the dipping. Audio Note designs all their transformers in-house, and we wind all our transformers in-house. So we've got uh, an, an, a rough machine here, which is a German machine, and we just bought two new winding machines here this year. So that's three machines here, and we've got two smaller winding machines for winding the smaller bobbins and, and chokes. Mm -hmm. So we're just about up to capacity. We still have trouble keeping up with demand at the moment, um, so, but we're looking to increase on the, on the transformer side. So viewers, you can see, for a winding machine, you have to have the wire up in a, in a spool. These tension, the wire, these are very expensive, if I'm not mistaken. These are, I think yeah. these are the new uh, electronic tensioners, uh, and again, these are quite a substantial investment. This is the silver wire here, and uh, they've been winding some of the smaller, you can see the silver bobbins here. Yeah, this look is at all that. pure silver wire. How about that? And here's actually where the application works this will spin correct mm -hmm. yes and then the wires come down and the operator the here bobbin, yep. just yeah the bobbin will go back and forth yeah program this and, and this then it's programming in got yep. it and then same thing over here yeah it's another machine set up again some of the transformers you know we do the bi filer the, the two layers the three layers uh, the different size wires different number of turns mm -hmm. oh and look we have one actually getting started here cool Hi, how are you? Fine. Good, good. Let's watch. Uh, let's watch. Uh, here's the beginning. It's the birth of a transformer. No secrets to be let out into the world. No. We're <laughs> okay, this is computer operated here, viewers. And here it goes. So you can see that the mechanism is actually on a motor. It's moving along, probably a cog under there, pulling it back and forth. And look at that, perfect. There you go. Thank you very much. The need uh, of an old Gaku output transformer. How about that? Okay, that completes our tour of the main production facility.